All right, so I've started to design my little controller board for the attenuator. Um, this is sort of what I came up with. So the first thing I need to do is figure out how I want to drive the relays. Now they're 12 volt relays, so um, I can use a PNP. So you have to drive them from the high side. You can't drive them from the low side. It would have been much easier if I could just pull down on the attenuator, but I have to put 12 volts on each pin individually. So. I'm going to use a little PNP transistor here, and that will be at 12 volts into the um, into the relay. Now I've measured each relay; it, it draw, they draw about 15 milliamps. So uh, a little SOT part will be just fine for this. So so that will give us our 12 volts. But then I have to drive it from a 5 volt logic. So so this does a level conversion on the input. I can do zero to five volts and the output, it goes 12 to zero volts. So that's the way I am going to do it. Now I went ahead and um, even though I could get away with seven devices um, because on the 64 dB attenuation, they're tied together. You could just wire them together. I decided to go ahead and lay out the board with all eight. Uh, pins, and then maybe this board would could do something else, right? The board is going to be one time use only, but maybe if I put in eight, it's flexible. Maybe I could use it for something else in the future. And I'm going to drive it with a shift register. So I'm going to have serial in, be able to set an eight bit um, output, and then I have eight bit drivers, right? So everything's going to be fine. I'm going to use a um, I'm going to try, first of all, to use a tiny 85. It is a eight pin device, little microcontroller. I think I have enough pins to do everything I need to do. Um, the uh, shift register is going to require data, clock, and then latch. That's what these three pins do. So three pins of the microprocessor is used up data, clock, latch. And then I'm going to have two other pins that are the up, uh, up switch and the down switch. So there we go, but I need to add a display. I wanna have a three digit display. Well, I'll just continue with my serial. So the serial will come into the um, first part and then it will fall out of pin nine into the second part. And that'll fall out of pin nine into the third part, into the fourth part. So just one big shift register. So I'll have a uh, 32 bit shift register and I'll be able to shift in whatever I want the relays to be and whatever I want the displays to be. So this is super, super old school. Yes, you could multiplex these and you could do a bunch of other things. I thought about putting an OLED display in there and everything, but it's kind of an old school relay, kind of old school test measurement. It just felt right to do it old school. So I'm gonna do it this way. So each, uh, each digit will have its own uh, register and then load resistors to the uh, seven segments plus decimal point. So I'm gonna use up all eight again and uh, run them off the five volt supply. I could run them off the 12 volt supply. No, I can't, no, I can't. I need to run them off five, five volt supply. All right, so there's our three digit display and our uh, drivers and our switches. So I think, I think that's what we need to do. So I've started laying out the board. The board's not board's not done yet, but it will look something like this. Uh, these whole spaces over this. So the over on the left hand edge is where the attenuator is going to attach, and the whole spacing is already set up to uh, make that attenuator fit in there. They're 0.4 centers, except for the ground, which is a 0.3 center. And then I'll have a display somewhere. I haven't figured out what display, what LED display. I need to look at my bins and figure out which LEDs I have available. I need, it doesn't really matter, common cathode, common anode. I could just change that in the software. And then here's my shift registers um, and my switches. So I figure I'll put the switches down here in the corner. I'll probably move things around. But one thing that's missing here is any bypass capacitors and, uh, any, how do I get five volts and 12 volts in this thing? So I think I'm gonna have 12 volts come in and I'll put in a regulator to dump it down to five volts to run everything else. So figure out what kind of part I want for the regulator. Uh, I already have a 12 volt rail in here. This is the 12 volt rail here. I went ahead and put the back side of the board as a ground plane. So whenever I need ground, like 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 this 
transistor right here needs ground. I'll just put it via and stitch it over down to the ground plane. Um, because I can't do a copper pour because there's too many, too much going on. Copper pour is not going to work. So I need to have a, uh, via down to the ground and, uh, same here with the IC. So I'll just put a via down to ground. Uh, I do need to put some bypass capacitors on the, on the VCCs. Here's the five volt rail. Anyway, so you can see that I've gone quite a ways down the rabbit hole here. And uh, I think it's going to be fine. I'll probably make this a little bit, a little bit a bit narrower, s slide it in a bit, make this board a little bit smaller, but it's fine the way it is. But um, yeah, there you go. So that's the progress so far. And you think about the power supply, finish laying it out. I got to figure out which displays I want to use and uh, get the correct footprint for those.